Thank you. So, um, you're joining today some fintech series um, about security cloud native infrastructures with compliance and resilience. And I am Jaco um, from Amazon Web Services. I'm taking care of the fintech territory um, in Hong Kong. So today, I um, really welcome um, Thomas uh, from Crypto.com um, to be our guest speaker. So Thomas, can you tell me more about um, your role um, at Crypto.com and tell me our, our, our more about um, Crypto Crypto.com do? Sure. Um, I'm Thomas Cole, the Director of Information Security and Privacy at Crypto.com. Um, we are a cryptocurrency company that provides uh, crypto-related uh, financial services to our customers. Our mission is to accelerate the world's transition to cryptocurrency, and we will hope that everyone will have their cryptocurrency in their wallet. So we provide various uh, service offerings to our customers. For example, they can use our mobile app to do trades uh, such as buy, sell, or even spend their cryptocurrency through our app. They can also access our exchange platform to do high liquidity trading. They can also top up their cryptocurrency to our MCO Visa card and then spend their cryptocurrency at the point of sale. Uh, they could deposit their cryptocurrency into our account and then uh, leverage the cryptocurrency for a loan, or maybe you can earn the interest rate from us. For the beginners, they can also use our Crypto Invest uh, uh, coin trading portfolio for the beginners to get access to various cryptocurrency trading. So crypto.com is look like provide um, different kind of services to your customers. So can you tell me more about um, what the most important factor to um, your business success? Uh, one word, I would say trust. Uh, I think as a new financial market that we are building, we build trust to gain confidence from our customers, from the public, and then to adopt the cryptocurrency. So when we build our trust, we focus on three different parts. Security, privacy, and resilience. We achieve a higher standard of security to protect our wallet app and also our exchange platform uh, with the advanced security features. We embed our security into our DNA. We respect our customer privacy rights, and then for all our core products, we have privacy by design and by default. And then we streamline our uh, CICD deferment process to achieve the lowest downtime. At the same time, we have for our application infrastructure which achieves highest availability. So um, what were the challenges you were trying to solve um, with um, the digital customer engagement? Yeah, actually, there are a couple of pain points that we are facing. For example, um, as our wallet app and exchange platform are online all the time, we have to run our service 24 times 7. Uh, we need to deploy a lot of features every day. So we need to have the zero downtime deployment. And also, we are facing a lot of like, crypto hacks. And then we need to achieve our continuous compliance. And also, our customer expect a, a better, better platform from our company. So we need to improve their customer expectation. And also, we need to cut accords. Yeah. So um, what compliance um, standard or framework um, do you work on? Yeah. With our team effort, we achieve higher standard of security compliance. We got our ISO T7001 and also PCI DSS Level 1 certificates last year. And also we passed our CCSS cryptocurrency security standard last year as well. These are the international recognized security standards that help us to promote and gain trust from our customers. So it is a really high standard. So yeah. how does all these security measurement fit into your architecture design? And what AWS service um, do you uh, utilize? Yeah, when we, when we uh, engage with AWS for our cloud infrastructure, we adopt their well-architect framework. There are altogether five pillars 
and then we focus on the security pillars. Within the security pillars, there are altogether five areas, such as identity and access management, and then detective controls, uh, infrastructure platforms, um, data protection, and also incident response. These are the most important areas that we need to focus when we build up our account infrastructure. So in order to adopt cloud security, we also adopt the cloud security strategy provided by the AWS. First of all, we, we try to uh, embed our security by default with preventive measures, and then we detect anomaly within our premise. If we detect any anomaly, we will trigger our incident response, and then we will have automated remediation. So here's a basic uh, architecture diagram for cloud native infrastructure. When we build a cloud platform, we can simply use most of the AWS features to build our infrastructure. For example, in previous days, when we build our web service, we need to build our load, balancing, uh, load balancers on premise. But right now, through AWS, we can simply use the application load balancer to do the load balancing. We can easily access to uh, content delivery network through CloudFront, and then we can use our container services, ECS, to provide a zero downtime deployment. Take an example of the, the database. When we use the Amazon RDS, by default, they have the encryption arrest, they have their daily backups, and on top of that, we can have off-site backup through SV buckets. Through the AWS features, we can easily achieve compliance. So, um, yes, this is a really high standard. So, it's like AWS, uh, we are uh, taking care of and protect our customer data as our top priorities. So, um, let me try to use, um, uh, explain um, AWS services um, that um, Thomas mentioned. So in the fundamental, it's like we have a concept called region and our ability zone concepts. So you can see that diagram, let me um, take a Hong Kong region as an example. So you can see that um, we, in our Hong Kong region, uh, we build up three um, our British songs um, in our Hong Kong regions. They have a separate um, isolated um, network and power supply designs. And if you take an example, it's like a web um, architecture designs. We uh, suggest um, deploying your web architecture um, across uh, three ACs. So you can rely on our re uh, fundamental region designs um, to deploy your database um, as a same mode. So you can enjoy our single digit latencies uh, for your applications. And then another one, um, um, you can see that um, our regions and, and our, our business zone that meet uh, um, different kind of uh, security standard. So for example, is uh, the Hong Kong MA or the regulator uh, really concerned is about um, 27,000 um, series. So you can see that the 27,000 um, um, 17s and 27,000 18 in the talking about um, how to protect your PI data physically. And also we meet um, the, the SOC 123 standard and also PCI um, DSS compliance standard. And we are not only provide um, like a free platform to our customers to adopt a different client of uh, third party vendor solutions. We also provide um, our native services um, to our customers. So you can see that um, we provide like IAM services, um, multi-factor offense, and also uh, we have um, AI embedded um, detect detective controls, um, gut services for our customers. 
And also some for the DDoS protections, we have a AWS shells. So you can enjoy um, using our services to protect layer three and layer four um, DDoS, and also rely on our web application firewall to protect the layer seven layer um, attack. And also we provide um, our key management services, um, key management services that call KMS and also call uh, HSM. So you can encrypt your data at WAX and also rely on our certificate manager to use um, TLS or SSL um, um, certificate encryption to protect your data in motion in transit. Mm -hmm. So another services is um, um, Amazon S3. So um, you can, this is uh, our object storage. So you can rely on our S3 to uh, different kind of FSI use case. For example, like um, data lake or any um, um, money laundering, uh, anti-money laundering um, process. So um, our storage is uh, provide you is a really high um, resilience, our ability and durability. And also, so you can uh, integrate with um, our other um, services through um, SV APIs, for example, like um, SageMaker or our AWS GU for any ETL or um, machine learning um, services. And then another one is um, Amazon Relational Database Services, um, RDS. So we put, this is our managed this, um, database services. It support um, um, MySQL, PostgreSQL, MariaDB, and even some commercial um, database, for example, like um, Microsoft SQL Server, and also um, Oracle databases. So um, these services can give you a really easy way. Just one click, you can uh, build up the master and slave um, database across our ACs. And also just few clicks, you can um, encrypt your data at Rex. And also you just really simple um, um, give a consent and a better window, for example, like this Friday, um, 9 a.m. Uh, in, in the morning. So you can give a consent, we will help you to update um, your database, uh, for example, like patch um, and any updates um, in the database. And then another service, as um, Thomas mentioned, is uh, Amazon's uh, Elastic Container Services, ECS. This is uh, one of our um, container management services. Um, <coughs> it, it can uh, provide a service set and integrate our, our security services I mentioned, for example, like IAM or data encryptions. And also we provide another choice for our customer uh, that support uh, Kubernetes. So uh, as you may know, um, actually um, the Kubernetes services is um, um, running 80% uh, of Kubernetes services on AWS already worldwide. Another part is talking about surface computing. So you can see that the left hand side has AWS Lambda is a serverless event driven code executions. So you just focus on um, you, your favorite uh, programming language and we will help you to manage um, the infrastructures um, 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 uh, management, for example, like OX level, uh, physical levels. And the right hand side is um, AWS Fargate. So it's just like the same concept with um, Lambda. So we will help, you, you just can put in your Docker image in the file gate. Um, we will help you to scale out the workload and manage the heavily tanked um, physical infrastructure um, uh, workloads. And the last one is uh, AWS database migration services. So, um, we would like to give our customers an easy way to migrate or transform their database services. So um, the service that support um, um, the source from on-premises, um, even other cloud. So you, you can imagine that, um, for example, like Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle Server, MariaDB, um, or IBM DB2. So you just, just a few clicks to select uh, where the source from and to target what the AWS services, for example, like Amazon RDS or Amazon EC2. Okay, so, 
And then the question is, um, I would like to ask Thomas is, uh, uh, why do you decide to work with AWS and how did AWS help you to meet the higher security standard? Uh, if you talk about the relationship with AWS, let me take a step back to talk about uh, cloud security. We, when we need to uh, understand what cloud security means, we need to understand cloud share responsibility model. It's a pain point for all these professional on uh, security compliance because we need to figure out what are the security responsibilities that we have when we engage with a cloud vendor. Let me take an example. If we engage a uh, AWS to use ECS service, the cloud uh, elastic container service, or we would choose using Fargate as the container service model. The two service provide uh, the offerings have different security responsibility to the customers. If we choose to use the ECS, because we have access to the Docker host, we need to cater the security controls over the Docker host, as well as the containers running on it. However, if we choose to uh, use Fargate as the container service model, we only need to use the container, uh, submit the container to the Fargate, and then we don't really need to cater the security level at the Fargate infrastructure because this is provided by the AWS. So the boundary of the cloud share responsibility is blurred. In order, in order to understand more about cloud share responsibility, we need the help from AWS. When we do our uh, ISO 27001 engagement with auditors, we figured out we, we need to engage with AWS as well because we need to know what are the gaps of security console that we need to improve in order to achieve our own, AWS, uh, our own ISO 2701 compliance. Yeah, so um, as I heard of that, uh, you're working with our professional services. Um, can you tell, tell us more about um, how is working with our professional services? Yeah, because of the, the need to comply with ISO 2701 compliance, we have engaged with AWS ProServe to do a security assessment over our infrastructure. Professional service helps us to identify the uh, our security maturity and also potential improvement areas that we could invest a lot more to improve our overall security posture. They arrange workshops and interview our engineering teams, our security teams and other business units to understand our business need, our technical architecture and our future roadmap so they could uh, pinpoint what are the security issues that we might have in our architecture and also the areas that we need to improve to achieve the highest security level. Yeah, thank you, Thomas. So I would like to take this opportunity to elaborate more about what um, AWS security assessments. So um, we follow by uh, we call the two hour assessment. So we will help our customer to uh, review um, their infrastructure designs. For example, we will col collab, uh, co collect um, about um, your architecture, the network diagram, and your um, security policy, um, paybook, something like that. And also we will have a few um, interview with um, customers, um, key person. Mm -hmm. For example, um, your uh, solution architect and also security team, um, or compliance teams. So we will um, um, collect all of the information and review it by our security experts. So, um, and then we will try to provide uh, our recommendations to our customers. So it's like no one is perfect. So we will try to use, um, come up with um, the, the strengths or the weaknesses and try to help our customer to improve um, 
their uh, security standard. So um, this is like a last question. So um, can you tell me more about um, what is uh, the crypto.com uh, business directions and how is going maybe work with um, AWX? Yeah, sure. So um, we've already announced that we our EU card launch uh, previously. So we are going to expand our markets globally and that's why we need to improve our global architecture. So we will adopt a multi-region strategy for our solutions and our infrastructure to, to provide a global compliance and resilient infrastructure to our customers. We will do an ongoing compliance activities. We will improve our resilience of our infrastructure to provide a better experience to our customers that will need AWS help to improve the compliance and also the resilience of our infrastructure. Yep, so um, thank you Thomas. So thank you Thomas today to um, share more about uh, like a crypto.com secret source for securities. So um, um, I would like to ask you all about you, um, is, uh, please remember to take a survey um, after these sections. So thank you Thomas. Thank you Jacko.